What's up everybody? Reaver here, and if you've already read the description of this video, then you know we are going to be taking a look today at the Foamdemic Typhoon Kit for the Dart Zone or Adventure Force Spectrum. So, I have here a Dart Zone Spectrum. I picked this up actually off of Amazon, uh, probably for a little bit more than what you would normally pay for Spectrum, but I haven't seen them in Walmart for quite some time, and this is actually Dart Zone, not Adventure Force. So take that for whatever it is, but I've never actually owned a Spectrum before, so this is actually going to be kind of cool. Um, I do, just a quick overview of the Spectrum, it's basically the Dark Zone Strife, which has gotten a lot of love over the years. Um, it has this removable front grip, which slides onto a very oddly angled piece of Picatinny, um, or the Dark Zone Picatinny. It works nice for, like, TQB stuff and all that stuff, but honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of it, so I'm going to be leaving mine off. Plus, I also don't think it works very well with the kit, but we'll see when that gets up. Um, I do have to say, I like the scope of the Spectrum. I mean, granted, it is just plastic with a little bit of a iron sight reticle at the end of it, but overall, aesthetically, this thing actually does look really nice. And the one thing I did not realize about the stock on this is, I'm like, oh god, this is so small. I did not realize that this is actually a collapsible stock. And it's actually a pretty good one, too. It holds up really well. It shoulders very nicely. It's about the size of maybe the Raider stock. I'm, I think the Raider stock might be a little bigger, but I mean, overall, it's still not terrible. So, yeah, this is going to be uh, fun to uh, mess around with. But, what did I get sent by Foamdemic? Well, the Typhoon Kit comes in three main parts, which is a front barrel, a stock, and a raised... I think it's... I, my, once everything goes all together, this might be a slightly more raised uh, 3D printed Picatinny uh, rail. So, it also does come with a bunch of the Picatinny that you can screw on, so you can leave off or put on whatever you want. It also comes with a nice little plate for the back of the stock. I think it just gets glued on because I don't see any screw holes on it. And it comes with a orange muzzle so that you have your orange tip. But, honestly... When it comes to the 3D printed parts, it's easier to take a look at it off the workbench. So let's go to the bench, take a look at it, get it installed, and then I'll give you my final thoughts on the kit. Okay, so here we have the Spectrum along with the parts here from Foamdemic. And I mean, I must say, like with most everything I've ever gotten from Foamdemic, uh, everything is actually very well constructed. Uh, there are a couple of things that I am going to address, but overall, this is the new front muzzle piece where you're able to put your Picatinny rail there, bottom and side, along with the top piece, but you need this in order to kind of connect it all together. And this piece would just slide in right there, but unfortunately mine isn't actually sliding. Um, I'm looking at the print and I can kind of see just, and I don't know how well it's going to come up on camera, but right on that side, you can kind of make it out, but it looks like a little bit of the print did kind of go in. So it's not, because this side seems to be sliding in fine. It's just, I can't get it on the left side. So a little bit of filing is going to be needed for that. Um, also, you can see here, just because I believe it's the way it's printed, but along the edges here, there is a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done, but that's honestly neither here nor there. Um, the front muzzle piece is actually also, again, very well constructed and actually pretty, actually very, very solid. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, you can see a little bit of stringing in there we go. No, it focused for like a hot second. Sorry. But 
it has like a little bit of stringing and a little bit of artifacting right there but that's just from the end of the print going into the opening or it's just where there was support and it just a little got stuck but again neither here nor there now the stock the stock for the most part is actually pretty good when put onto the spectrum stock which one i did not realize it just slides right over the existing one which is really cool and then it's actually a snug fit so it's not coming off unless you cut without some force but it does also have a screw hole there if you want to make it permanent or <laughs> i guess if you would want for some reason or another to extend it out yourself and then just put a screw in there to kind of reinforce it but i'll be honest i'm a big guy i'm six four and at this length the stock is actually perfect for me now again similar issue or not issue but just little eh, that i had with this where the edge had a little bit of overage so obviously this one same thing uh the edges along the back of the stock definitely need to be sanded they have it's not much just a light sanding would actually fix that for sure the only other th the only complaint i do have about this is this uh this little piece that goes on the back of the stock doesn't actually fit it edge to edge you can see here i have it centered about as best as i ha can get it uh but you can see here that uh, yeah there we go you can see there it has a little bit of edge there and a little bit of edge there and granted yeah i did kind of move it a bit but it does have edge on both sides um it would have been cooler if it was just honestly one piece so that this just all went together i understand why it's like this because it's the way it's printed because it's printed like that um but either that or if you could put maybe a little slot so that it could go a bit bigger and then fit better but either way like i said not a major complaint just one of those little nitpicky things i wanted to point out but yeah once that's once i sand those edges and i get this glued on i'm 100 percent sure it's going to be fine uh but yeah so oh and then you have all of your picatinny rail which again very well constructed very solid and that just gets all kind of screwed together oh and there is one more piece uh this little purple guy and i had originally missed it when it was in the box actually it's kind of part of this piece and again i understand why it was done separately because of the way it prints but this actually goes along this edge here because that actually helps fills in the gap along here so that you don't get you know dirt and crap and all that stuff in your flywheels so when you are doing your rails you just have to remember that the one with the two screw holes at the end is the one that goes on this side because it will the two screw holes are for that one and then there you go so now this did not come with any hardware whatsoever so you do have to supply your own screws but for most modders we have a ready supply of you know nerf sized screws so you can just take care of that yourself um so yeah that is just about everything on the kit so i'm going to get this opened up install the kit and then i'm going to give you my final thoughts on it okay so my final thoughts on foam demix typhoon kit for the spectrum um i gotta say i really do like this thing the Spectrum in and of itself is actually a really nice platform, and I don't understand why it took me so long to finally get one, but uh, this stock is really nice and solid. It's built well. It gives, for at least me, just that little bit of extra length to just make it that perfect comfort level. Uh, the front end is also very nice. It's very well designed, but not only does it look nice, but it also adds functionality by not just keeping the top rail, 
but adding two side rails and a and bottom rail other than like this thing that's already on it. Uh, now, a couple of things I do want to point out about the kit, though. Uh, one, I have the furniture I have on it is to show that yes, the Picatinny is functional. I have a flashlight uh, holder that is on here that I did use on both sides. I just happen to leave it on this side. But yes, it does work. Has a little bit of a wobble on it, but not much. Uh, the top rail, you are able to put sights on it. Here I have my red, my uh, I guess elevated red dot scope from my Mac Striker on here. And the reason I have this one on here, not my other red dot, which is actually this one, which has been on my, <clears throat> excuse me, which has been on my Nexus Pro and on my Swift, which also both have Picatinny, um, would not actually work on this because I guess the way it's designed, and if I get this wrong, then, you know, God forgive me, but the way this is designed is there's no bar that goes on here. It's just, you screw it on, and then I think it just basically friction fits on. It would not work on this. Like, this site here has the bar that actually goes through the rail, so that's what's holding it on, and even with that, it does have some wobble. Uh... But yeah, showing on this rail, this, it just, it just slides on and off. Um, I have absolutely no idea why it was doing that, and I did um, address that with Foamdemic, and they were about as surprised as I was when they were, it was like, what? But yeah, um, I don't know if there's going to be a fix for that, or if there really is a fix for that, but... If you're going to be using any sights on this thing, I would suggest making sure you have something that does have a bar that goes, up, you know, in between the uh, the raised sections of the rail, or maybe just get some iron sights, because uh, I know those definitely have the bars that go through them, which, again, is probably what I'm going to put on mine. Uh, but yeah, overall, I really, really like this kit. Um, if you have a Spectrum and you're looking for a nice cosmetic upgrade or something that would be at least a uh, pretty tactical function functional would have an extra you could add, make it like really tactical yeah this kid's this kid's got everything basically so if you happen to be interested in this i will leave a link down to uh from Demix etsy shop with this uh in the description below uh go show uh go show form Demix some love so but that's where I'm going to end it for this video. So if you enjoyed the content we put on here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Typhoon kit. Or if you have a Spectrum, what do you have on yours? Or are you just running it stock? Let me know in the comments down below. I love reading them all. Oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. So again, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.